here are the top three places that in a kitchen that people ignore when they're doing their German roach and that's the kitchen underneath. Go underneath here, you see those little cracks and crevices? There, oh, there's one right there. There's another one hanging out. I just dropped the bait in there and they came out. You need to put the bait in those little cracks and crevices in the foot plate. Because if not, you're gonna have roaches up. Oh, I just put them there and there they came out. I just put it. There's an egg. And this is why I try to teach. If I just leave one of those, that just hatched. There's, there's an egg attached. If I just leave one of those, this is 32 roaches in the next 30 days that we have to deal with that. We don't know if they died or not. So that's why I'm saying you put the bait in the little crevice underneath. And don't ignore it. See it right there? Don't ignore it. About every foot. Hold on a second. Here's another one. Put it down there. Put it there. Put it there. Put it there. Put it there. The other one is the faceplate. You have these gaps. Here's the problem. You go inside your cabinet and you look this way in the front. You can't reach it. It's being blocked. You can't get in there, but yet, if you go to that corner, there's, there's one right there. Here's the evidence that they're there. Look at the excrement. They're in that corner. They're hiding in behind that crack and crevice. This is, this doesn't move. This is fastened. You need to put the bait behind where they are hiding. Down here on the bottom part, because you can't reach it. Look at the bait. You got to put it there somewhere where they're going to get to it. Those are the like number one, number two, and number three ignored places in a kitchen that I find technicians keep missing. See the little crack? Look at them hiding back there. I'll get a homeowner that tells me, I did your protocol, I did your video, I watched it, I still have roaches, it doesn't work. I said, you didn't get every single spot. There's a resistance to the roach bait. No, there's no resistance to the roach bait. You didn't cover every single spot, like I told you, to cover every single spot where there's evidence. This is evidence. Look at the evidence. It's on the drawer. The evidence is on the drawer. There's a little hole. There's a crack in there. There, there. Look at the evidence. You're not following the evidence. If you followed the evidence, and you would treat every single inch of this kitchen, like I tell you, every foot, no matter what you see, sometimes what you observe, you don't discriminate, you don't decide, you don't decide, oh, I'm not gonna put it there because I didn't see any roaches there. Here's our monitor. We will know in 30 days where we stand. So you're inspecting inside a cabinet and you find nothing, you find no evidence, right? On the bottom, no evidence in the center shelf. And then you look way up top and there it is behind that hinge. So you ignore the top of that shelf. You don't treat the cabinet because you scanned it really quickly and you didn't notice it, that it was up there. Even though there's no signs down here, this could be coffee grounds for all you know. And you didn't inspect. And therefore you missed the only place that the eggs were being laid, where the roach is hiding, where the nymphs are being bored. You ignored that. And that's what bites you in the butt every time.